Hello everyone and welcome to this video explaining the two new creatures added in the release of the anniversary update of the Eternal Cylinder. First up we have the Budug Grop. This is a highly aggressive herbivore that you can find in the Tundra Zone in Chapter 2. This herbivore will attack other herbivores like the Blue Tongo Groplet. Now these creatures will charge and try to attack you if they see you, even though they are herbivores. So if you see one running at you, don't worry, they have a very slow attack, they whip their tail at you, and if you approach them from behind, they'll also try to hit you with their tail. So as long as you avoid their tails, you should be fine. They are scared by loud noises, so you can scare them away with the Dimatic Trunk Mutation. And it seems like doing a little bit of damage to them will also make them run away if you have the Toxic Trunk or maybe some kind of energy bomb or cluster bomb to use on them. I noticed that it will focus on a larger threats over smaller ones, so if you can run next to a blue Tongle Groplet or any other animal, it will most likely drop its focus on you and turn to the new animal. And if that animal is a predator, well that will scare it away and it will no longer be concerned with you. Killing these creatures doesn't give you any loot though, they drop nothing when killed. The next new creature can be found in the desert and it is the Garukuk. This large omnivore is highly aggressive and due to its size has very few predators. As soon as it sees your trubum, it will go into attack mode and flip its back towards the ground so it can impale your trebum, party on it to have a nice snack. Now, I have found the Garukuk moves incredibly fast. It can easily catch up to Trubum even when they are rolling. However, its weakness is turning. It takes a really long time for it to turn, so if you can roll circles around the Garukuk, then you should be able to last long enough for it to tire out. Because running the way it does is very tiring on the Garukuk. After running for a short amount of time, it will stop to rest and catch its breath. And this also provides your Trubum the opportunity to escape. You can try and lure the Garukuk towards other predators or exonerators if you're trying to get one off your back, and I have found that killing one does not offer up any loot, it just disappears into nothingness. And those are the two creatures that were added in the anniversary update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.